Oh, we're back at the orphanage. All the kitties are asleep in their beds. <laughs> I suppose having this much sewing to do is proof that the children are full of energy. Well, it'll all wait till morning. For now, I'd best get some sleep myself. Please watch over them tomorrow, Adeos, and keep them safe. What's that noise? Sounds like someone put wood on the fire. That smell. It can't be. Oh, the orphanage is on fire. Wake up, everyone. Oh, oh, it didn't do anything, huh? Clem's still half asleep. Daniel, Polly, wake up. Hmm? What's going on, Matron Teresa? I'm kind of scared. There's a fire. Everyone up. What? Really? We're going downstairs now. Everyone stay close to me. Whoa, what the heck? It's all smoky. I'm scared. I'm sleepy. Come on, hurry to the exit. Ah, uh, eek. No, great Adeus. I don't care about me, but protect the children. Oh no, that's rough. Ruin the following morning. Oh man, my poor aching head. That must be one heck of a hangover. It was kind of impressive the way you drank the whole bar though. Sure you're okay? You want some water? Or a bucket again? No, I'm good. I've got an event to cover. Oh really? Well, thanks for taking us in yesterday. We're both very grateful. Just pass on anything interesting you hear to me. I'll be in room for a while, too. Okay, see you later. Oh, goodness. Why is the light so bright? Well, then, what say we head to the guild? Fine by me. We can see if Jean has any work for us. All right, let's go to the guild, which is down this way. Oh, Jean, we're back. Anything on the bulletin board? Oh, we got a warehouse key. I lost my warehouse key somewhere, and I really need it. Please find an ASAP. For details, come see me at the harbor. Find the prototype. I lost my orbital gun prototype along the Auroran Causeway. I think I dropped it when I was attacked by a monster along the way. If you happen to find it, please bring it to me at Joan Arms and Guards. And a Roaring Road monster. A ferocious monster known as the Helmet Crab has been spotted roving near the Saffral Tower. Bracers from this branch are required to deal with this threat immediately. Alright, and let's go talk to Jean real quick. Jean, yes, talk. Good morning, Jean. Good morning. Good morning. You're certainly here early. Yep, just like we promised. I know it's early, but do you have any assignments for us? Ah, uh, music to my ears. Let's see, there are so many options. Go easy on us. Oh, hold on just a moment, please. Hello, you've reached the Bracers Guild. Oh, it's an incoming communications from the White Magnolia. How unusual. I'm impressed you were able to reach us with that old comm equipment. What did you say? I see, that's definitely a major issue. Yes, I understand. I'll send someone over shortly. What's wrong? Another case? It could be a case or just an accident. I'm not sure. Last night, the orphanage on the coastal road caught fire and burned down. No way. Any idea who might have done it? That was the proprietor of the Minoria Inn who called. Are you too familiar with the Mercy Orphanage? Familiar? We were there just yesterday afternoon. Are the kids and the matron okay? That I don't know. We have to conduct a full investigation and it has to be as thorough as possible. Would you be willing? Of course we would. 
Let's head over there now then. Good, good, take care. Oh no, the orphanage is on fire. Uh, they can wait though. Before we go to the orphanage, we're gonna go back to Minoria Village real quick. All right, so it looks like we can't go to the village. We have to go to the orphanage. They will not let us go any further. All right, here we are at the burned down orphanage. This is terrible. It's just gone. Oh, who do we have here? Are you here from the Bracer Guild? Yeah. You're all from Minoria, right? Yeah, we came to pick up the pieces. We were here last night around midnight trying to fight the fire. As you can see, it could have gone better. So then, what about Matron Teresa and the kids? They're all fine, don't worry. Right now they're sleeping at Minoria's Inn. Given the size of the fire, it's a miracle that no one was badly hurt. Thank goodness. Yes, at least that's something. We're here now to clean up what we can. How about you two? We really ought to check up on everyone at the inn. Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Huh? Now that we're here at the scene of the crime, there's a lot that strikes me as weird. We need to find what clues we can before the trail goes cold, so to speak. I know how you feel, but this has to take precedence right now. Right, we're bracers after all. We have to find out what happened. Right, so let's see what we can find. Looks like you'll have your hands full. Good luck. All right, let's look around for clues. The stump seats around the table have been scattered about. It's over here. The soil from the flower bed is all over the ground. The herbs have been uprooted and strewn about the garden. The firewood from the stove has been scattered around. I already saw that. There's footprints back there. Oh, I guess I can't interact with that. I already read that. Same thing about the herbs. The barrels with food in them have been scorched black. Since the fire has burned so much, I guess the only thing to do is rebuild. I don't know what Matron Teresa is going to do. I mean, it's going to be really expensive. Man, I was shocked yesterday. I mean, seeing the sky go all red in the east over Minoria. I tried to get here as quickly as I could, but everything was already gone. Thor has been completely wrecked. Ugh, it's all pitch black. Huh? What's wrong? Maybe this is just me, but does the hinge here look weird to you? Like it's been torn off or something? It does, actually, as if it happened before the fire started. What was once a wall is now rubble. Wow, this place is ruined. Hey, do you smell something strange? Yes, and I think I know why. Alright, we've taken a good look around. What do you think? I'm not sure, to be honest. First off, the fire doesn't appear to have started in the building. It most likely started outside. Outside? Over here. It looks like this area is the point of origin. Ah, where the wall collapsed. But how can you tell? Because the fire damage is worse here than anywhere else. Compare it to the areas nearby and you'll see. Oh, you're right. So it started here and then spread. You know what this means. Um, well... It got caught in a forest fire. Someone said on purpose. There was an accident with a lantern. Someone said on purpose. My thoughts exactly. That smell everywhere. It's some highly flammable oil. It's everywhere around here. So this had to be the fire's point of origin. No way. Plus, don't you think it's weird how everything outside is scattered around? Even the people fighting the fire wouldn't have done that to the herb garden. It's not a coincidence. Someone did this. 
Is that true? Hello. I didn't know you were here. But why? Why would anyone do this? I have so many irreplaceable memories of this place. Why? How? How could someone do anything so cruel? Hello. I'm sorry. I'm just so confused. I... I... You're not alone in that feeling. I barely knew the place, and this bothers the heck out of me, too. It's hard to believe that anyone could be capable of something this awful. Estelle. But the matron and the kids are all okay, so we can be thankful for that, right? Thank you. That does help. I just started morning classes when the dean came to see me. He said that he'd heard that the orphanage was in flames, and while I was on my way here, all I could think about was, they're fine, they're alive. Adeus was watching over them. Well, we heard that they're all at the inn in Minoria, safe and sound. We just finished up here, so we're planning to go see them. Do you want to come with us? Yes, I would like that very much. All right then, to Minoria we go. All right, we're done here. Let's go talk to the matron and the kids. All right, we're back in the village, and we also have to be here for that uh, dagger and sea chart that we found. There's someone in the village who will help us with that. So let's go to the white magnolia. And somewhere around here is Matron and the children. Matron, everyone. Miss Clow, you came. Is anyone hurt? We're okay. Hee <laughs> hee, I is okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Is that Estelle and Joshua I see with you? Yes, since someone contacted the guild. We're investigating the incident and thought we'd stop by. I see. Thank you for taking the time. Investigating? You mean about the fire, right? Do you know who did it? Um... Well, how to put it? Estelle and Joshua exchange awkward glances. So, um, who's hungry? I missed breakfast, so I was thinking about getting some food. Good boys and girls who join me will get some sweet treats. Really? I just want some pudding. What? Come on, Clem. Huh? Quit griping and come on. Let's go downstairs, Miss Clow. Haha, <laughs> okay. Phew, that was close. I really wouldn't want the little kids to hear about this. Indeed. Although I get the feeling that Mary understands at least some of what's happening. <laughs> yes, isn't she great? I'm happy to have her around. Now, you were saying, please tell me what you can. Thank you for your understanding. Okay then. First we checked out where the fire started. And it does appear that it was set deliberately. My suspicions were correct then. I've always been very careful about fire, so I suspected it might be something like that. Do you have any idea who could have done this? Whoever was responsible must have had some kind of motive. I have no idea. We have no real money to speak of, nor has anyone ever borne a grudge against us. So it wasn't a robbery, and it wasn't for revenge. We have to acknowledge the possibility that someone did it just for fun. Did you happen to notice anything unusual leading up to or during the incident. Any strange people hanging around the orphanage, for instance? Yes, actually. Not during the daytime when you were there, but afterwards. Though I can't imagine he would do something like this. Who's he? While we were trying to escape from the burning building, the beams fell in and blocked our way through the entry hall. But then he showed up and it helped us all get free. We owe him our lives. Really? Was he Minorian? Right after he helped us, he called the villagers over and left in the confusion. I asked the other villagers about him, but no one seems to know anything. Sounds suspicious. What business would anyone have around the orphanage at such a late hour? Did you notice anything in particular about him? He was a man, maybe in his late 20s. He also had brilliant silver hair. Silver hair? He had a troubled look about him, though, that made him seem far older than he looked. But he didn't strike me as a bad man. He sounds suspicious, but he did help you out. Doesn't sound like our guy to me. 
Joshua. What's with the goofy stare? Oh, it's nothing. Perhaps he was just a priester who happened to pass by. I think that we should disregard him as a suspect. Um, okay. Pardon me. Oh, hi, Chloe. Where are the children? Haha, <laughs> they're downstairs having some dessert. Agent Teresa, you have a guest. Um, mm -hmm. pardon my intrusion. Oh, Mayor Down War. Oh, so the bracers I met yesterday are here as well. Jean's reputation for responding quickly is well earned. Now then. It's good to see you again, Matron Teresa. After I heard what happened, I came over as quickly as I could. I'm glad that you're safe. Thank you, Mayor. It's very kind of you to come by. I know you're a very busy man. Nonsense. It's my responsibility to look after all the areas of the region. More to the point, those who did this must not be allowed to get away with it. Joseph always loved that place. Such an atrocity. Allow me to express my most heartfelt condolences. Thank you. But I am sure that he would just be relieved that the children are alive and well. My sole regret was that all my mementos of him were lost to the fire. Agent Teresa. Tell me, Bracers, have you any thought on who might have done this? We've only just begun our investigation, so it's too early to say, sir. It does look like it might have been done simply out of malice, however. I see. What a terrible thought. For something so heinous to happen in such a peaceful place. Pardon me, Mayor. Hmm? What is it? Do you think that those people might have a hand in this? Whoa, hold up. Who do you mean by those people? I encountered them yesterday. The ruffians down in the warehouse district of Ruin. Oh, them. Pardon my bluntness, but what makes you suspect them? They've been openly defying the mayor for quite some time now. They certainly seem to get their kicks out of causing trouble for him. And since he and Matron Teresa are friends, it... Gilbert. Sir? Wild speculation does no one any good. This is a dire offense. We must have no false accusations. My apologies, sir. That was foolish of me. I think it would be best to let the bracers identify and locate the ones responsible. Can I count on your help? Sure, leave it to us. We will devote our full attention to it, sir. Good, good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, Machin Teresa, I do have one question to ask. What is it? What do you plan to do with the orphanage now? Rebuilding will take time and a not inconsiderable amount of mirror to complete. Honestly, I'm at a loss. We have a modest reserve of Mira, but the cost will be phenomenal. Matron. I was afraid of that. Well, I have a proposal of sorts for you. What might that be? At the Delmore Estate in Grand Cell, I have a villa. It's only used for special occasions, so... What say you to having the children stay there for a little while? Oh, and of course, charging rent would be particularly boorish of me. You'd be welcome to stay there for as long as the rebuilding process takes. But there's no need for you to shoulder the burden of our troubles. But the villa sits unused. If you have misgivings, then I will grant you control of the grounds. Think of it as a well-deserved reward, if you will. Mayor. May I have some time to think it over? Your offer is most generous, but I can barely process it with everything going on. Perfectly understandable. You should get some rest. I must be off as well. If you decide to accept, please feel free to contact me. I will. Thank you so very much. Let us go, Gilbert. Yes, sir. Wow, that was a shock. He's certainly the generous type, on par with Mayor Maybell. Indeed, particularly in light of his being a former noble. What do you intend to do in regards to the mayor's offer, matron? Well, what do you think of the situation? Conventional wisdom dictates that you should accept it. However, once you've gone to Grand Cell, oh, never mind me. Haha, <laughs> you always were such a thoughtful child. It's all right. I want you to give me your honest opinion. The herb garden and the people I care about would be gone. So, and... With you and Joseph gone, I feel like all my good memories will fade away. I'm sorry. I'm just being stupid and selfish. <laughs> I share your feelings. The orphanage is home to my memories of him, as well as the children's memories. But, though memories are precious, having a place to live is of the utmost importance. 
Yes, ma'am. I believe this will all be settled soon. Please try to focus on tending to the campus festival for now. The children are really looking forward to it. Yes, ma'am. Estelle and Joshua, I wish I could be of more help, but I must leave the investigation in your hands. We'll handle it, ma'am. We're going to take the culprit down. You can count on it. 